Sure, I know it didn't start out that way, but now being the co-main event, uh, you know, being featured here, workouts, that sort of thing. I mean, does it do anything for you, or is it, is it just another day at the office? Uh, a little bit of both. Uh, I think it definitely makes it more exciting for me, you know, to be a little bit more involved in everything. And, uh, you know, I did it once in New Zealand, and I thought it was a blast, and, and this is also a great experience. Talk about Roy Nelson. I know you mentioned yesterday you have a lot of respect for him, but if there is criticism, maybe he's a little bit of a one-trick pony now with the, with the big right hand. Is that really the way you look at him, that it's just avoid that one punch and, and you'll be okay? No, I think uh, Roy Nelson's uh, dangerous all over. You know, he's a black belt. He's, he's very agile uh, for what he what he looks like. And stuff. He's, he's a complete athlete, really, and a uh, great fighter, uh, very dangerous. I wouldn't just say he's a one-trick pony. You've, you've been kind of patient in your work up to the top. We've got a great record in the UFC now. This would be a signature win. Where do you think it would put you? I mean, are you are you thinking about the upper echelon of the division right now, or do you still feel like you're a developing fighter? No, I, I definitely think I'm still developing. You know, uh, everybody knows I need to work on my striking and get better there before I get toward a title shot. You know, I know that. I'm not, you know, I'm not, nobody's holding blinders over my eyes. I know I need to work on it to be the best. Uh, so I'm just going to take my time, whoever they want me to fight. If I win here, somebody in the top ten would be nice. Now, you seem to be almost a throwback to a greater time for Americans in fighting. You had the Mark Coleman's, the Mark Kerr's, these really tough, strong Dan Severn wrestlers. But now it seems everybody's, I gotta know karate, or boxing, or jiu-jitsu. Do you ever see like you're carrying a torch of all these great guys, and where do you think it's going? Oh, uh, you know, I think, I think I just stick with what I know, you know, what got me here. I think a lot of people lose track of that. They get to the UFC or a bigger promotion, they say, I got to do this flashy, you know, Bruce Lee looking stuff. And it's like, hey, remember what got you there, you know? Those guys go two and out in the UFC and they're done. Their careers are 0 2, you know, and they're done in their career. Yeah, I remember what got me here, you know, it wasn't boxing, it wasn't kicking, you know. So, yeah, I believe I, I, I think I represent those guys well, the wrestling so, community. Is there any particular wrestler that you look up to that turned MMA fighter? Oh, man. Uh, you know, of course, Couture, he's a, he's a great great role model for uh, wrestlers in the UFC, so really looked up to him. I don't care what anybody says, I was a huge Brock Lesnar fan. I was a huge Kane <laughs> Velasquez fan, too, you know. I still look up to those guys. You know, you mentioned being open. To, hey, you got to work on your striking. Give us an idea. What's a typical work week like for you? I mean, how much are you working on your striking? All the time. <laughs> people, you know, of course, you hear people on media and stuff. They're, you need to go work on your boxing. I'm like, listen, bud, this is what I do every day of the week. I go, I work on my striking. I know I have no problem saying what my weakness is, you know. And, uh, you know, I work on it all the time, every day of the week. Going from wrestling as much as you did, is this harder because you had a season and you had weekends where you'd have 15 matches in a day, and now you have a fight and then sit around for who knows how long? I think that, I think that wrestling was much harder for me uh, than the fighting, you know. Uh, the grind in and out, you have to go to college, you have to be a student, you have to do all the stuff. You're, you're running off of ramen noodles for lunch and dinner, you know. I mean, how, how do you do that? I don't know. It was a tough time. Uh, this is much better. I'm a lot smarter. I train better. I train harder. You know, I'm, I'm a professional now. What was it specifically that made you decide to transition from wrestling to MMA? Was it just a natural progression for you? I got done with college wrestling. You know, I lost in the national finals my senior year. And you work all those five years of college, four years starting, and, and you get there and you lose at the, you know, the biggest time in your life. And, uh, you know, at that point, I was kind of like, man, I'm just kind of tired of wrestling. And, and, uh, but I wasn't done competitively. I, w I wanted to do something competitively. And, and uh, this kind of came up, and I thought, I think I can do it, you know. So I tried it, and here I am. You talked about, you know, you just want to go out and win fights and do what you do and stay true to yourself and win. Uh, but you know you're all, you are getting to that upper echelon now. There's going to be, you know, if, the, if your game's not flashy, you almost feel like, oh, you have to be flashy out. So do you ever feel that pressure to like, hey, I'm be more than just a nice, quiet guy. Like you have to try to, you know, do something special out there. You know, I, I think if I was going to act like that or uh, you know try and be that person, I think I'd just come off looking like a fool. You know, that's just not really me. And the people who, who I know and that I know respect me would look at me and say, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you trying to do here? You know, I just, I couldn't do that to myself. I wouldn't cheat myself like that. You see all these guys getting these opportunities. So, you know, Conor McGregor did what he did a lot of because of what he did outside the cage. So, right. do you think there's a ceiling on, on somebody like you who's just a good guy, who's a hard worker, who can win fights? Definitely, uh, I, don't, I don't think it is in my favor to be like that, you know. But uh, there's, there's guys that get away with it, you know, like the Canes and stuff. You know, they seem pretty humble and whatnot. Uh, even Cormier and all them. Uh, I think it's, it's you can get away with it. But, you know, when Conor McGregor does that and then he backs it up, there's... He was right. I mean, everybody's, I was wrong. <laughs>
it seems like you take the criticism in stride. I mean, does it ever get to you, or do you, or do you like make sure you never go on the internet? Or I mean, how do you deal with it? You know, I, I block people who bother me. <laughs> I, I reply to the people who are nice and stuff. And you know, for every for every dig I get from somebody, I get 50 you know compliments. So it's just like you know get a life man you know I have, I have better stuff to do than sit around and listen to this you know I just here you go you, I block you off my stuff and then I'll never think of you again ever has anybody ever said it to your face no <laughs> no not that I do anything anyways you know I just look at him like come on man get, get real you know? is, is there an OSU cowboy wrestling like group tweet where you're all just talking smack with each other about who's where DC obviously probably running his nose a lot now about being number one but no, I haven't, I haven't talked to Daniel in quite a while, but, uh, you know, he, he's a great guy uh, whenever I was in, in wrestling with him. Uh, uh, you know, we're all pretty humble, I think, for the most part. You know, even he uh, being a champion and stuff, you know, he could be he could be a bragger and stuff, but he's not. You know, he's just, I think wrestling does that to you. You're humble, you know. What is it about that program that has just sent so many of you guys into this arena, into this sport, at a high level? Well, I think I think it's just the grind, you know, college wrestling and being at, being at a uh, a program where it demands excellence. If if you're not working hard, if you're not doing the right things, you're not going to even make the team. So it, it, I think it teaches you right off the get go. I've got to do the right things and be a hard worker and, and uh, you know respectful toward the sport. What is it about the wrestling programs? Because when you really talk about the fighters and, and UFC who are from wrestling, it seems like a really small world. Like you knew this, it's like a six degrees of separation type thing. You knew him back here and here. Why is that world so small, or is it just seen that way? No, it is. Uh, you know, even from growing up and stuff, the regional tournaments back from when I was really young. I see guys all the way in college that I wrestled with when I was in kids clubs and stuff. You know, uh, it's just a smaller community, and, and everybody follows each other's successes. Uh, even if you don't like the guy, you know, you you love the sport and you like to see him do good things in it. Uh, you know, I think it's it's just a very tight knit community. We don't get much uh, exposure, so we try and do it all together. You know, we try and complement each other.